Hey friends, Underwild Salmon has a glow of something new. And it's this yellow guy, holy fellow, Akarog. This is the original version. And now, so there are two portions of the special. And there's some additional stuff written, which means something has got added. So let's get out of this Max preview. Unreal. So from a ranger becomes barbarian. We know what this does. It's the same, <coughs> the gems and the damage. This is the new part. Costume bonus of 13, 13, 24, and five, which is a major enhancement. And you can actually see it over here. 758, 788, 1400. And when I tap this, with those bonuses, it reaches 856, 890, and 1736. Still very low when it comes to the attack and the defense. Massive health, but that's because of this. But before I move forward, let's look at the specials. Uh, sorry, the passives, because there is an additional passive. So the original passive still carries. First time this character casts a special skill, deals damage. <laughs> additional 30% is added to its power and the other passive is increased damage against boosted health so deals plus 70% increased normal attack and special skill damage against a target with boosted health for four turns that's the passive uh, colossal carry at fast speed is the special. Like the previous fellow, rearranges enemy positions randomly. A little less deals damage to three, that is a target in nearby enemies. If they're all together, if they're separate, then accordingly. There is an additional part that has been added to the costume apart from those stats and that additional passive which is the caster gets plus 45% chance to dodge special skills for three turns. Each dodge gives plus 5% defense stack. So the dodge is only for three turns, but the stack starts adding plus 5% defense. So enhances this fellow, which is nice. But this dodgy stack is available only to Akarog costume, none of the allies. So yeah, fast speed, heavy damager. I remember in his days, not a very favored guy, but now with enhanced stats, still nothing major because we have crazier fellows. When I look at max Aether power, so there are quite a few people who already have him. If you get the costume, of course, it makes sense to enhance this guy further. But nothing uh, great in terms of the stats. So the damage has been brought down, but offset by all these costume bonuses. And uh, he gets a chance to dodge, which helps in uh, Akarog surviving and doing his damage. So there is that added benefit in the form of dodgy twist. And uh, yeah, I like this portion of the special also. The boosted health gets extra hammering. <laughs> yeah. I mean, all allies get a massive boost through this passive. And that is, I would say it's a top quality passive. Plus 70% increase normal attack. At fa a fast speed hero's passive gives and uh, special skill damage, which means Akarog suddenly becomes useful in, uh, uh, who's the fellow? Magni costume and uh, the secondary costume and the secondary costume of Grimm that enhances uh, by plus 50% special skill damage. This is regular normal attack and special skill damage being enhanced by plus 70 percent against obviously conditional boosted health 
That is useful. There's a slight boosted health. You get a bad hammer. So I would say uh, in certain conditions, um, Akarog suddenly becomes. And uh, boosted health these days is uh, there quite a bit. We know that. I actually, when I'm looking at this passive, I already see a passive being designed by SG that against minion fellows, special damage via the passive route. <laughs> so some obscure hero will be given that button of that additional passive in the costume. So you go for the costume and the minions or the fiends like uh, Pinolite has similarly this so yeah i would like i i like this passive uh, from uh, boosted that's why i said conditional but that condition exists quite a bit over there so yeah akarog one more underwild hero gets costume with additional twists uh, i'm not feeling the enthusiasm because there are so many heroes and yes i also my playing style is i don't try to remember or make an effort to remember too many things if I need to know. I do have a general idea because I talk and I've been playing for a while. Uh, but yeah, I check the heroes many times. So please uh, don't feel shy doing that. And you don't need to know every hero. And a little slow playing helps understand what I'm dealing with and enables me to take things accordingly. But personally for me, my laziness and that's also one saving grace of this game. Uh, I don't take it so crazy seriously. So yeah, this would be useful. But I don't know whether I would still give him the <laughs> darts. Um, but jokes apart, he obviously deserves the darts with the costume for a lot of rosters. Maybe for mine too. I had said that I would never give darts to a Vivica because of my roster. And I recently completed Vivica because of the tunes. So things change. And one has to... I'm going to say it for myself. I have to eat my words back and <laughs> complete Vivica. Though the original costume of Vivica is at 401 and I've completed the tunes. I'm going to complete all the three costumes and then slowly level up Vivica. Because then I get the benefit of the costume bonus and use the tunes yeah, for my regular play. Having said that, it was a holy talk. So that's why I inserted it with the context. <laughs> Vivica in Akorog's hero analysis. But jokes apart, I would say he's a good hero. From the costume perspective, there is this dodgy self-survival and I love the passive which i have already said multiple times earlier so yeah good luck for getting this guy and congratulations if you really got him um level him up and uh have fun okay cheers